Hey YouTube, uh, this is a video on how to change a recursive function into a recurrence relation. So first we have to understand uh, what a recurrence relation um, is. And recurrence relations are used to determine the running time of recursive programs. So recursive uh, relations themselves are recursive. So what we want here is we want a function of time, I call it t, and we want t of zero. So t of zero is the time to solve problem of size zero, also known as the base case. And t of n equals time to solve problem of size n, also known as the recursive case. Okay. So to solve problem of size zero, we have if n equals zero, we return one. So it takes constant amount of time. So So here you see our base case. This takes a constant amount of time. We'll call it C1. Time to solve problem size n is T of n. So this is our recursive case, which is here. And I'll highlight that. And it takes n minus one times to solve that problem. So So the time that it takes to be solved for here is uh, t of n minus 1. And the time to solve x takes a constant amount of time. We call it c2. Actually, I'll rewrite that. So I'm going to say it again. Uh, the time to solve x takes a constant amount of time. And the time to solve a power of x n minus 1 takes t of n minus 1 time. And we need to add these two times together, and that gives us our recurrence relation. So uh, using substitution, substitution, we determine that t of n belongs to, or a lot of people put equal, but a better way to say it is belongs to, um, theta of n. Thanks.